guys, it's FIFA Rally here and welcome to a FIFA 15 tutorial on uh, the new skill moves, the new fancy passes and the combos you can pull off with these things on the game. And the tutorial might go a little bit fast with me speaking, but if you just look at the animations of the controller, I think you'll be able to pull these things off in the game. So we start off with just the new skill moves. We got the heel to toe touch, very similar to the elastico. You just have to hold LT or L2 and move the right stick in a half circular motion. Another new skill move is the alternative elastico chop. It got the same controls as the elastico chop on FIFA 14. You just have to hold LT or L2 while you do this and you'll pull off an alternative version of it. Now, a skill move that was introduced in the World Cup game but wasn't on FIFA 14 and now is on FIFA 15 is the spin. And it's very easy to do. You just flick the right stick diagonal backwards either to the left or to the right in order to spin to, to the side. And it's a very useful skill move in my opinion. And uh, two of the new fancy passes, which in my opinion look pretty cool, is the scoop pass and the 360 pass. And they're relatively easy to pull off. Just hold R1 and RB and pass it either backwards or to the side, depending on which one you want to pull off. Now moving on to some of the new combos, we got step over combos. Step overs are usually really good to make your skill combo look cool. You can do this with the heel to toe touch, relatively simple to pull that off. You can also do it with the spin and I think this might be a very useful combo, the one with the spin because if you go down the, uh, the wing for example and you have the defender a little bit behind you, if you do the step overs you'll slow down, you'll catch up and then if you do the spin you can cut in behind him and then maybe cut inside for a shot or something like that and the good thing with this combo is you can use it on both wings basically and just exit to whatever side you want to go with with the spin. Another little combo you can go with is step overs into the alternative elastico chop. Now this might be a little bit tricky because you have to hold LT or L2 when you do the uh, alternative elastico chop and if you're too close to the defender you'll shield the ball and you'll not pull off the skill move. So you'll need a little bit of distance to the defender when you pull this one off and maybe you'll be able to beat him because it's a pretty big skill move like uh, in order of like how much space you cover when you pull off that skill move. So you might be able to pull it off but it will maybe be a little bit tricky to look good. Now moving on to some of the other skill combos which you can do with some of the standing or stopping skill moves is the fake shot to the spin and I think just as the step over to the spin skill combo I think that would be a pretty useful combo if you stop up in front of the box the defender comes towards you and then you spin around him and get in for a shot. And uh, then we got the fake Rabona to the alternative Elastico chop. I think this might be pretty good out on the wing if you have distance to the defender. Now remember, um, if you're too close to the defender, you will shield it instead of doing the alternative Elastico chops. So you'll need a bit of distance, but if you have enough distance, I think this could be a pretty good combo to, to go past the defender out on the wing with. Another nice little combo if you want to show off a bit is the ball roll fake to the heel to toe touch. Um, again, you hold LT or L2 when you do the heel to toe touch, so it might be a little bit tricky, but I think it could look pretty cool if you pull it off. Now, some combos with the fancy passes is the fake Rabona into the 360 pass. Just run forward, do a fake shot backwards while holding LT or L2 to do the fake Rabona and then pass it in the direction you're running to start off with and you can pull that one off. Then you got the fake shot to the standing fake shot to the scoop pass and basically do a fake shot to stop, hold L2 or LT, do a fake shot again to make that over exaggerated fake shot and then pass it backwards with R1 and RB and you can pull off the scoop pass and you can also pull off the scoop pass after the fake Rabona which is a pretty useful as well. You can maybe score a cool goal with it or make a cool pass out in the wing, something like that. And uh, that is uh, pretty much all for the tutorial, guys. I will have more tutorials out on FIFA 15 combos, the basics of skill moves if you want to learn those, and a lot more stuff regarding how you skill on the game. And uh, yeah, I'll have that coming over the next weeks, months, stuff like that. So if you want to learn some cool things on FIFA 15, stay tuned on my channel. And that is pretty much all. Thank you for watching, and I will talk to you later. Bye.